the Dremel today. So here's what mine looks like. I have the Dremel 7700 series. Um, has a low setting and a high setting. Um, and right now I'm working with Isla so she gets used to it. And so how I started out was just a basic introduction. Um, Finish and let her see it. Yes! Yes! She's pretty much learned if she touches the object with her nose. Yes! Yes, good job! Yes, good job! And if your dog has been dremeled before, they might have some fear with it. Initially, you can just bring it out and they see it. So, bring it out, they look at it. Yes! 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 And then that's all you're going to do for the day. And you would do that for several days until you get to the point every time they see this, yes, good job! She's not always tail wagging when she's, uh, when she's training, but you could do that. And then I've also been incorporating this, so. Yes, good job! Good job! So she gets a tug, so that's even more exciting for her. Good job, good job. Yes, good job! Good job! Good job! And so that's going to be really rewarding for her. Go back, 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 back. Good girl. Are you good? So, and once you get to the stage, like if you notice here, she's really relaxed. Yes. She's not worried about it. Um, the next stage would, without even like touching your dog would be getting it to turn on. So it'd be something like this. Yes. Good job. You can even do it from a distance. You can step back. Yes. If I can actually turn it off and on properly. And so you just got to turn it on. And get a positive association with the noise because it is weird. Yes! Once again, you can bring in the toy too. Yes! Good job! Yes! Good job! Good job! Good job! Good job! I know I can't turn it off fast enough. Good job! Good job! Good job! Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. All right. Ready? Yes! Good job! Good job! So every time they hear that noise, they learn it's something good. And so, and a lot of these stages may take days. Um, a lot of dogs that have been dremeled before are pretty fearful, yes, of the dremel itself. Um, I live, had been dremeled a couple times before I actually worked with her on it, which was bad of me, but I didn't own a dremel at the time and her nails needed to be done. So I had um, someone at my work who was a bather do it for me and she wasn't very happy about it. She struggled a lot, she cried. Um, she pretty much thought it was doggy torture, which it's not. The Dremel is one of the best ways to actually trim the nails and be able to see where the quick is and be able to get around the nail too to smooth it out. Yes. So the next step you're going to have, um, after you kind of do the distancing, your dog seems happy to see the Dremel. They sniff it. They'll touch it. Um, you can even bring it out sometimes when you're doing your training and put it down. Yes. Having it around. Yes. And does it make it a negative thing? Yes! Good job! So and after a while, but you don't want them to get too intent on sniffing it because once it's moving, um, it can... I have a couple scrapes on my hand actually from the Dremel because I accidentally touched myself with it a few times and it can hurt. So you, if they get their mouth on it, they will bleed. They will hurt their mouths pretty bad. So don't let them mouth at it when it's moving. Um, try not to touch anything other than the nail when it's moving. Um, and so you might need to teach dogs to not be mouthy. Um, a really important part of this is you have a dog that um, really willingly gives you their feet. So Isla, good job! Yes, that's good! And it's very positive about giving their feet. They'll let you look at the nails. Yes! See this one? Isla, this one? Yes! And so you should already have desensitized the feet handling in the first place. So see, she'll let me handle her nails. I can bring her paw back. Yes! And she doesn't mind it. And so that's also another part of teaching like this back paw is you can go pretend like you're looking at it you can tap on the nails a couple times yes and so and i always like her to willingly give me her feet in the first place i'm not just going to go and yank on them all of a sudden um, i believe that's a good way to make them not want you to give them their feet um, so after a while i'm going to change from standing far away from turning this on to turning it on right here so yes Yes! 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 Good job! 
job. Good job. Good job. Oh, this is good. So you're not doing anything to her here. It's just closer to her. So I give a quick couple consecutive tr treats and then I play tug with her because she loves playing tug. So that makes her really happy to do that. Good job. Good job. You got it. You got it. Good job. Drop it. Yes. Can I go back? Can okay, you do this again? Yes. Yes. Good job. Good job. Good job. Yes. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Get it. Drop it. Good job. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Dremel without turning it on. See your foot? Good job. I'm going to touch her feet with it. Yes, good job. As soon as it touches her paw or her claw or whatever you want to touch it with, um, you're going to just reward. And don't hold it or anything like that. Kiss your paw. Yes. Yes. Good job. Good job. Good job. And you make sure you want to do all four feet because some dogs won't like one touch, foot being touched or they'll only let you touch their back feet or not their front feet and so on. Um, from experience, dogs have more trouble with their front feet than their back feet. Um, and so from experience, um, sometimes you may want to start with the back feet first, just because it's easier when you do eventually get up to touching. Can I see this one? Good job. Yes, good job. Good job. And once again, Isla has been working on this for about a week now. Well, almost two weeks. Almost two weeks now. And so um, she's at a very positive place, but I've been taking this days and days and days at a time. Come here. Yes, good. And so she's getting to a really good place with it. Um, so take your time. Don't rush it. So the next step is you're going to ask for a paw. Turn it on. Yes. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. Let's get another paw. Can I, get, no, can I get that one? I want that one. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, good job, good. Ah, okay, okay, can you see this one, can you see that one, good girl, that one right there, good girl, good, yes, good job, good job, good job, good job, oh you're so good, oh you're so good, can I see this one, can you see that one, Good job! Good job! And so, that's going to be your next step. And then the next one after that is actually going to be um, bringing it closer to their foot. Um, if they have had Dremel before and they're scared of it, or if they're just scared of the noise in the first place, you have to go back a step probably. Um, you don't want to confine them. If they start to struggle, um, I will, don't hold on. That means you just have to go back a step. You went forward too fast. Um, and always make sure, don't ever, like I said, if they're getting to the point where they're scared and all of a sudden they don't want to give you a paw, that means you've gone too fast too. And then you've broken their trust. And if you don't, yes. And you don't want to do that. Because then they just end up struggling or end up not liking it or they do it for you because they are afraid. And you want them to do it because they want to do it. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to do it on Isla's back feet first. I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm just going to do, I'm just going to barely touch it to one claw. And so, I like to see this one. Good girl. So I bring it under. So I have my left hand under. I have my left arm underneath her leg supporting. I separate one claw. Turn it on low. Touch. Yes. Good job. Good job. Good job. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good puppy. Oh, that's good. Come here. Over here. Can I do that again? Yes. And sometimes I'll even skip. So if I touch her once, I'll do the next two or three times without, no, 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 come here, Isla. And I'll ask for her paw without doing the Dremel. I won't, I'll hold it, but I won't even turn it on. Oh, see sip, right here. Yes. 
Because if you do it every single time, they tend to not be so, so thrilled about it. You don't want to ruin your trick, which is the nice uh, give the paw here. Yes, good job! Good job! Good job! Good job! Good job! Good job. Remember, take lots of breaks. So if they seem to be too worried about it or anything like that, then give them a break and step back and what you got, what you got. Okay, come here. And so then over time, you'll just do it longer and longer. And so right now we're at the place where she gets, can I see this? Can I see that? Good girl. Then she gets one toe or one claw done at a time. Good job! Good girl! Good job! Yeah! 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 Oh yeah! 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 Oh, you're so good! Oh, you're so good! Oh, yeah! Okay, drop it. Good. Okay, come here. Touch. Yes. And sometimes I'll even break it up and make her do other things. Um, can I see this? Yes, good job! So, then I'll just move on to the next toe. Good girl. Okay, good job. Good job. Good girl. Yes, good job. Good job. Good girl. Good job. Okay, come here. And also just keep in mind, this probably really tickles them. Um, I don't dremel my own nails, so I don't really know how it is. But I'm sure the way that it's vibrating, um, tickles their bones, um, tickles the skin, I don't know, something, and just kind of feels weird, which is the reason why they oppose so much to it in the first place. Okay. Can I see that? Can I see that? Yes. Can I see that? Good job. Good job. Good puppy. Good puppy. Oh, another reason why I have this blanket down. You do kind of make a mess. Um, you get like the nail powder everywhere, which is annoying. And so um, just be careful of that. Also, another note is um, pay attention to if the Dremel gets too hot, too. I'm sure that's uncomfortable. Um, don't ever want that. So, either touch. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and just continue with her other deal. Yes, good job. So got that one. I'm just barely tipping these. I, I did her a week ago, so since I'm training her for it. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. Good job. Yes, good job. Another thing too, if they pull just a little bit, like she's kind of doing, I'll remove the Dremel so it stops bothering her, but I won't let go of the foot. She's not super scared. She's just saying that I, that feels weird. I kind of want to take my foot away. So I'll move, remove the Dremel. I'll wait until she calms down before I'll put the Dremel back on. If I feel like she needs a break, I'll give it to her. Uh, but I don't want her to also always figure out that if she always pulls, she's always going to get it. But if she seems like if she's scared, I'll definitely let her go and have a break if she's scared. Touch? Yes. So then I'm going to just show you really quick. I'm going to touch up on that last one really quick. Did I get that last one? Oh, I did get the last one. Okay. I'm actually going to show you. So I do most of all the paws on the same side. So I'll go around to the side here. And this is how I'll do this one. Wait. Good girl. Yes, good job. Good job. Can you see this one? Oh, good girl. And sometimes I'll pick up her paw as long as she offers it in the first place. Good girl. Yes, good job. Good job. And remember, you want a reward for the best that they can be. So even if I'm not done with the nail, but she's being absolutely perfect for it, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll stop. 
And so just so she's getting rewarded for being very good about it. What's that? Does the door make a peeking noise? Okay. For the front paws, sometimes it's a little diff different. Can I see that? Oh, can I see this one? Yes, good girl. I bring it behind so I can see it. These ones always get sharp faster. Yes, good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Come here. Come here. Can I see that? Can I see that? Okay. Up, stand. Can I see? Shake. Yes, good girl. Good job. Good job. And so here just keep doing and do all four feet with that just slowly at a time. Um, I also another point is if you notice Isla's not on a leash. I'm not holding her down. I'm not holding on to her, forcing her to be with me. If she feels like she needs space, she can she can leave. She can go somewhere else. But I've approached it in such a way that she willingly comes to me. She willingly gives me her feet for a nail trim um, or her dremeling. Another point I kind of wanted to mention is what I'm working on with Isla, but Isla's not a huge fan of this, so I don't do the dremeling this way, but a lot of people like to do it this way because it's easier, is actually, come here. Okay, come here. Isla, go back, go back. Good, sit. Yes. That's what you're actually gonna do. See how she's sitting here? I'm gonna have her come up and backwards. Come here. Yes. Good job. There you go, good job. And so, I'm actually gonna have her. No, you're okay, you're okay. Yes, good job. So you actually have her here on her back, um, supported between your legs. Um, I don't wanna hold her here. Ow, that was a hard one, be careful. And so when you have them here, sometimes people consider this easier to be able to look at the nails from here. And I'm not going to do it right now because she's uncomfortable in this position, so I'm not going to make her any more comfortable by dremeling her. But you can see them here. You can look at the back paws and do it that way, or I think some people switch around too. Um, free! Good job! Good job! Yeah! Good. And so, this is a thing that you can work on. That's easier for you. Come on! Right here, right here. Switch. Over. Come on, over. Good. Now sit. Yes! So we're working on it, but something that she's not a huge fan of. Back. Yes. Good job. She's learning to trust me slowly. Oh, yes. You're kind of going everywhere. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Good job. on your own? Can you turn around? Okay, come here. Let me see your butt. Okay, no, 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 I know. Come here. Okay, now go back. Back. Good. Good job right there. Order's good. Uh-uh. Come back here. Okay, go back. Nope. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Okay, go back. Back. Sit. Yes, good job. I don't need you on, on my lap. Right there, sit. Ow! That hurts. Good job. That's good. And there we go. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, free. Good job. There we go. That's how. I work with Isla and the Dremel, and I do a little bit every couple of days. Um, if you have to, you can even just do one toe at a time, do one toe every day, and if you keep it up like that, um, you'll be able to get around to it. I think it's important to try and get be able to get all four or do the baby steps that I showed you before, though. 
Um, everybody have a great week. Hopefully I'll have a better next, uh, training Tuesday next week. Hopefully it'll cool down a little bit.